Hi, my name is Mark Rains. You may know me as California Thor, and this is how I unleash my superhero. I'm 48 years old. I currently live in Morganton, North Carolina. I'm actually from San Diego, California. So growing up, my parents did everything possible for us. Um, my whole life, actually, they've done everything they could for my brother and I. And so I can't imagine not doing the same thing for them when they need help or they're struggling. And so family is everything to me. They've done everything they can for me, and I want to do everything I can for them. About seven years ago, I was actually on winter break from my teaching job in San Diego, and I was here in North Carolina visiting my parents. And I started to notice there was a delay between my thoughts and my speech. It's like I would have the words in my head, but I couldn't get them out. And it was fairly minor at first, but it was still really scary. And by the time I got back home to San Diego and back to work, it was slowly getting worse and worse to the point of, it was a pretty extreme stutter and it was really frightening. So for my speech to all of a sudden be impaired and be difficult to use even in things like conversation or just ordering food at a restaurant, um, it was life changing for me. To go from a point where I talk for a living to I'm scared to talk to people was awful. I went through speech therapy for five to six months. That only helped so much. And so I was getting to a point where I thought, this is the way I'm gonna sound for the rest of my life. I'm going to struggle with my speech. And that was a really hard thing to deal with. Um, but then a neurologist actually decided to try me on Parkinson's medication. And within seven days, the medication cleared up my speech. And so far, um, I've been on Parkinson's medication for um, over seven years now, and I don't have any other symptoms of the disease. Um, but for the most part, as long as I stay on the medication, it corrects my speech, and I'm able to function like I had in the past and speak in public without a problem. So when, when I was growing up, um, my dad was on submarines in the Navy and was gone for extended periods of time. Um, and so my mom um, at some times was almost like a single mom when I was a kid, raising my brother and I. And we moved a lot as kids through the military. And my mom was the one constant thing in my life that I could always count on. If I was struggling at school, if people were being mean to me or bullying me when I was a kid and I was the new kid and we were moving, I could always come home and depend on my mom to be this stable, loving force. And that has continued my whole life. And regardless of what's happening in my life, in her life, in the world, my mom has always been there. In 2013, uh, my mom was diagnosed with stage three ovarian cancer and she had never had any medical problems growing up. She'd always been a pillar of health. And so that diagnosis rocked our family.
And even at the point of diagnosis, they, they told us that this is an incurable form of ovarian cancer, but it is treatable. And so um, that was extremely scary for, for all of us, for my mom, for my dad, for my brother and I. And it has challenged our family more than I ever could have imagined. It has been so hard physically, mentally, and emotionally on all of us, but what it's done that's been really amazing is it's brought us closer together. And so something that was so devastating and so tragic as cancer, um, an incurable cancer that my mom has now been fighting for over five and a half years has been horrible, but at the same time, there's been this gift of bringing us closer together and making us an even stronger family. Sharing my story on social media and on Instagram is that it gives me the opportunity to let people see that it is possible to push through in tough times, that you can continue to work and work out and eat right, even in the midst of so many challenges. And so I want to show other people that it's possible, that you don't have to give up, that you don't have to let the circumstances of this life control who you are, how you act, what you can or can't do, that there's a power bigger than me bigger than all of us that can give you that faith, that strength to help you push through. I think the most interesting thing to me about being California Thor on social media is it's just been this other avenue or opportunity to be able to reach more people with a positive, hopeful message. So it's just like an extension of what I've always tried to do in my classroom and also what I've tried to do in youth and young adult ministry. And that's to reach people and to help provide hope and encouragement and positivity. And California Thor and Instagram has just given me an even bigger platform to reach more people in the same way I try to do in my classroom and in a Bible study. And what's been interesting is you know, people tell me that I, I've been able to motivate them through my social media posts, but what's pretty incredible about that is that they motivate me too. Not only am I sharing my journey, but then them telling me that what I've said or what I've shown them or what I've done has encouraged them is this reversal of encouragement. I'm motivated by the fact that I'm helping others and that really helps me get up a lot of days. I think today, Mark Rains is a man who has faith, who loves his family, um, who uses fitness to persevere through difficult times, but Mark Rains is also a man who shares um, compassion with others, who's empathetic. I want it to be cool for men to be empathetic and to be compassionate and to show love for the world. I can't think of a better way to do that than for me to share my faith in God with other people and to only put out positivity on social media. When I hear the phrase, unleash your superhero, what that makes me think of is when you hit rock bottom. When you're at that point where you don't know if you can go on, but somehow, some way, you still get up, you still show up, and you still give 100%. And I didn't know that I had that in me, necessarily, but I've seen that in me in recent years. 
and that's what I've tried to do. And I know that the reason that I've been able to continue going and to continue fighting and to continue to push forward regardless of circumstances is because of that faith that I believe in, because of the loving family that I come from and that supports me. And then even the aspect of fitness helping me achieve my goals and feel better and move better and be stronger physically, all of that together has helped me never give up. If I had to describe myself in one word of how I unleash my superhero, it would be perseverance.